Many companies have to create a working manual for their product and Solid Edge has a great tool for doing this, which is called Solid Edge Technical Publications, which consists of illustrations, which is a single page um, printable document or an interactive 3D publishing tool. So um, we can start in Solid Edge Assembly and then click on the under the tools menu, um, go straight into 3D publishing from here. And what this will do is it will take a link to the assembly and use that within the um, 3D publishing tool. So when this opens up, um, it gives us a number of different templates. Uh, I've done a previous video, I'll post a link in the um, comments. Um, of how to create your own template, but um, in this case, I'm just going to use one of the standard ones. So, uh, work instructions, and uh, you can see here you can do a preview on it. And um, I'm going to just rather than use the one page, I'm going to go and use all the pages that are defined in this template. So, obviously, if you've got your own template, you'll have your own sort of set of pages. So on the project tab, you'll see that we have um, six pages in here. I can uh, show page names rather than the uh, page number. And you will see that we've got a title page, table of contents, instructions, clickable parts list, normal parts list, and any text that you want to put into the document. So we'll start with the um, instructions. And within here, you've got um, a sort of title and um, a description and obviously as you click on various items this will um, highlight in here but what i'm interested in doing is creating an exploded view which we don't need to do in solid edge we can actually just do in this product so um, there's an edit page option here or we can double click on um, the 3d graphics window once you're in the edit mode if you hold the shift key down you can then sort of um once you're in the edit mode um we're going to go into uh the model view and i want to create my own exploded view so um, we'll just put that in here i'll just uh, uh i'm going to have one in this document so um i can just call it exploded view and from here um, once you're in the graphic window, if you hold the shift and um, left hand button, you can rotate it and shift and middle mouse wheel, you can then move it. So um, from here, I'm going to open the model view tab. So this just gives me a little bit more control because some of the parts are hidden by others. Um, it's far easier to um, select them from in here. So I've got three um, grub screws in here. It's got a sort of standard orientation triad on here, which um, for most parts would be fine, but um, I'm going to change it to smart direction. And that allows me to just then drag these three grub screws out in there. Um, path relating to the orientation of the screw. So as I said, for most other parts, it will be fine. Um, and then for the um, next three items, I'm going to have them all um, connected. So if I hold the control key down and um, select them all together, I can then click on the arrow and just drag that out to the far end. Um, if I want, I can actually just drag in here and select it. As I said, some of these other parts are going to be harder to manage. So, for example, the piston here is hidden inside, so it will be hard to select without having to keep rotating the view to um, get it into a selectable position. And I can then just come through and um, move a number of different parts 
out into the assembly. Um, exploded assembly sort of position. So as you can see, these are all hidden and this just gives me a very easy way of um, selecting and moving the um, parts I'm after. And I'm just sort of specify the distance that I'm after. So then we can go into this part here. No need to select it from um, the main um, list over on the left. So then we have um, three more parts. So we've got one. And this one here, oh, sorry. So when we finished, um, we have a nice exploded view. And if we um, go across to our exploded view tab, you can see all of the different steps um, and we can sort of see how that progresses through in a nice sort of ordered manner and these buttons here will allow you to control the um, options within here so um, once we've sort of got to a position where we're sort of quite happy um, i can then go through to um, the illustration um, tab and i can then use a storyboard wizard which will take each each of those steps and build the storyboard down the bottom here and um, on an exploded view that's the model that's the um, exploded view that i have i want to um, select parts being assembled um, you can set it so that if you've got parts that are going to sort of um, once they've been dragged out hide other bits you can hide them once they've been moved out and um, I'm going to keep it on the same view orientation. Um, there we go, finish. And that generates my storyboard for me. And you can see that we've got the various different steps in here. So um, just clicking on any one of the steps, you can see the parts um, that have been generated. And we can come down here and um, name each one and we can put a description in here as well so if we look at the next page um, we have our clickable um, parts list subtractive parts list so as you click on it it will highlight and vice versa if you click on the part it will um, highlight that in the parts list so um, if we sort of look at some of these parts in the middle you'll notice that they're not very visible so um, what we can do is we can uh, reset this so if we go edit illustration and if i go back to my exploded view and um, under the model tab I can go into exploded views so I can switch back to um, here or here to um, just position it and get it somewhere on the screen that looks good um, but I want this one as being my um, collapsed view so um, I'm just going to sort of zoom in a little bit from there and just drag that over here so you can see that we have the name on here again um, so we will rename that and hit enter and then if i click back over um, here um, that sort of then updates so 
um, if I then add in a new one, so exploded view, end of storyboard, we've got this one in here, and I can jump that through to the end of that explosion and just move that over a fraction. So we've got our two um, storyboard items. And um, if I go back to here and go edit page, what I want to do is just re resize this a little bit, bring it down. And then I want to insert a button on here. And we want to choose this as being an illustration change. So that's the um, view that we've got. Um, select the type of change specified and storyboard. And we'll go with the collapse view. And for the transition, we want to have it gliding. So we'll create the button. Um, then if I click on here and go back to my properties, I can quickly change the look of that. Um, let's make the text size, say, 18 and centered. And then I can um, go control C, control V and drop that in, in here as well. So on the properties, I can go back to my interactive and edit the properties. And rather than being the flats view, we want to have the um, uh, exploded view. Still want it to glide and go OK. So then if we turn off the edit page, um, you can see that we should be able to now switch between the collapse view and the exploded view. And obviously, if we pick on a part, you can actually see it a lot better in the exploded view. So um, that's all I'm going to do on this page. So the next page is a parts list. Um, like with all the others, you can double click and go straight into edit mode. And under the model tab, you've got an edit parts list. So we may decide that we want to include a new column. And this one could be um, so the description, we'll just add that in and um, sort of look at that. So once we've decided what we're going to go with, um, we can then just make some minor adjustments and um, that will update. Um, and um, your parts list is pretty standard. Um, once, once we've um, Finished with that, we can look at the last page. The last page is just some general instructions, safety instructions. Um, if you don't want that page, we can then just delete the page. And um, we're sort of done for this document. So um, let's just um, click on here. Update table of contents and now we have lost those two instruction pages and um, we are now ready to go. So the final step is to um, actually publish the document. So if we go to the publish tab, um, we've got a num number of options. We can print it, um, create a PDF, 3D PDF, um, email it or create a HTML5 um, page. So um, I'm just going to use the PDF option. And um, I'm just going to call this instructions. And um, you got a number of options in here on whether you um, hide or show certain things. Um, I'm just going to turn on the Activate 3D views automatically. Um, otherwise, it will request um, you to activate it as a trusted document. So we're going to go off and create that document now.
So it just takes a wee while to. And when it's finished, it brings up the um, uh, PDF. So you need to just go in and trust this document always. And you'll see that the image is now displayed. We have a table of contents. We have our um, ability to explode it. And you can go through on there and then we can look at the next page, which is your interactive parts list. And we can choose whether it's going to be the exploded or the um, uh, collapsed version of that. And um, finally, you've got your parts list. So this is sort of um, a pretty straightforward way of creating uh, work documents. And um, as you'll see, and um, as you saw at the beginning, you know, if you're creating a new document, we've got plenty of different templates that we could use. So you could have a maintenance one or a bold presentation, a product demonstration. So there's a, there's a good option set of options to work from. And um, from there, you can then um, just go and create your own templates to suit your own requirements.